Hello and welcome to the latest news with the most relevant and important information of the day. An alarming figure of COVID-19 appears in our archipelago. Here we offer you the following information for you to be updated. COVID-19 continues to increase in the department, taking into account the report provided by the National Health Institute, which indicated that today there were 71 positive cases in the archipelago, leaving a total of 3,910. Considering the last local report, which showed 69 active cases and 53 total deaths on May 4th. On the other hand, the total number of vaccinated persons in the archipelago is 9,950. It should also be noted that in the ICU, there are a total of 12 out of 21 beds occupied and 16 people on the COVID floor and two more people in the emergency room pending to be taken to the COVID floor. Today, the resignation was confirmed for the regional attorney, Karina Causil Archbold. So far, it is unknown who will assume the vacancy she leaves in this important control body or the reason why she did it. This journalistic host learned from Karina Causil Archibald herself, who served as regional attorney general of the department, that she submitted her letter of resignation to the attorney general's office of the nation. During the morning hours, the official was handing over the position to staff in Bogota, although she expressed that she had no statements to make on the matter. Karina Kausilar, she is a lawyer specialist in public management and administrative law. She was born in Cartagena and remained in the position of regional attorney general in the island from July the 10th, 2027 until this year. Tele Islas News will be attentive to the statement of the official and the balance of her management during the years she was in charge. And the activities around the National Road Safety Route started satisfactorily. In order to sensitize the community on the proper use of motorcycles on the issue of lighting, how to make proportional review among others, and avoid road accidents, the National Road Safety Agency start activities on the island. The main road actor who dies in Colombia is the motorcyclist, and that is why the National Route for Road Safety have traveled through 85 additional municipalities. What we are carrying out in San Andres is to generate awareness and road education, especially for motorcyclists, and that is why we are reaching about 200,000 motorcyclists, 2,500 in particular in San Andres, during this week from yesterday, May 5th until the 9th. He described as positive the result of the activities that have been developed so far. The initiative has had a good reception from residents. Additionally, we are working on issues such as the Departmental Road Safety Plan, small major work and action that allow the accompaniment of road actors. The administration thanked the agency for this activity. On behalf of the departmental government, we're very grateful to the National Road Safety Agency for having thought of San Andres for this national route for road safety. The benefits are many. The idea is that with this, we reduce road accidents, especially among motorcyclists, and that deaths from this cause also decrease. The goal is to reach zero deaths due to road accidents, especially among motorcyclists. And during this week, the Colombian Ocean Commission, with the support of the Tourism Secretariat, they have been conducting various workshops in order to promote the department. Evaluation of attraction with tourist, scientific, nautical, and nature potential in the Department Archipelago of San Andres, Providence, and Kiklina were developed. The workshop had the participation of the community linked to the tourism sectors on the island. Particularly on this occasion, tourism is one of the aspects that summon us once again in the island of Old Providence and also in San Andres. And due to this, two types of activities were developed. During this week, we had the opportunity to visit Old Providence Island and also here in San Andres. And we met with the communities from which we received feedback on what they see as potential and opportunities for tourism development. Add uh, this with a very important ingredient, which is that San Andres must take advantage of this imminent harvest it has, which is culture. 
For the executive, it was of vital importance to understand that our department has different kinds of tourism and that at this moment it is possible to identify scientific and cultural tourism. We see that there is a very strong inclination towards scientific tourism, which is a wonderful factor, since we have a biosphere reserve that is unique in the world, and we have to know how to take advantage of it and know how to use this tourism in knowledge of our reserve. Also, we have a sun and beach tourism, which is unquestionably a nautical tourism, since we have wonderful beaches so that different boats from all over the world can enter its waters. The executive secretary stated that it is of vital importance that all people know the cultural factor that San Andres had also recognized the Rizal population as an ethnic group, which is a cultural manifestation and tradition connected to the sea. And in order to strengthen the tools and guarantees regarding the right of citizenship, the departmental government developed a training on protocols for gender-based violence. The Secretary of Social Development and the Office of Women Affairs and Gender conducted a training to hotel staff on prevention and care in cases of gender-based violence. During the meeting, the attendees were provided with information on the care routes of violence in the department. The Secretary of the Social Development Portfolio, Carlos Fontalvo, indicated that this type of training seeks to prevent and address such situations. Para este nuevo comienzo, eh, las mujeres y todo lo que tiene que ver con el género. For this new beginning, women and everything that has to do with gender, as soon as there is violation of their rights, it becomes essential and a priority. This morning, we were at the Sunrise Hotel attending a training with approximately 25 women and men that are public officials, in which the route of care for women and girls, victims of gender, were established, and what is the affordable route for when there is a complaint to make the respective follow-up. The 155 line is the one to call regarding victim of violence and depending on the type of violence, we will coordinate efforts with all the authorities in charge. The head of the social development portfolio indicated that this type of training will continue to be held in different sectors of the apartment. We will be reaching out to the different neighborhoods because the invitation is to create multiplying agents so that women and anyone who is a victim of violence can denounce, and we will be available to communities in each of the neighborhoods. The Secretary of Social Development indicated that this type of meetings will eradicate gender violence in the apartment and create a space for more healthy coexistence among the island community. In 24 minutes, we continue with all sport news with Victor Fosalva. <laughs> Hello, here are the best sports of the island. Maracanã soccer matches entertain, recreate, and amuse soccer players from the archipelago. Jimmy Guete scored a hat trick of goals in a tough but entertaining match between the teams of Optident and JW at the Maracanã's core. We talked to the scorer of the match. We started the game with one player less, and we started to lose one nothing. Then I come and I gone and we, the first time we finished to nothing. Then we start the second uh, time and we put in the goal about one minute after, sorry, two, two, one. And then we recover again and we come back again and we go until, go until we tie. And short, uh, short a little bit of time, we put in the third, third goal and we win the game. The, the, far, the, far, the message is to everybody get a time and come out and exercise and change that mentality that uh, it's uh, necessary to build back up and I invite all of us to come. Definitely playing at the Maracanas is a pleasant experience for soccer players of the archipelago. With the idea of returning the sport culture of baseball to the island department, a group of coaches dedicates their time to training new players in this game. Rodolfo Howard, Armando Brackman, Eric Eraso, Gregorio Steele are a group of coaches who are accompanied by Professor Laudine Smith have a love for the sport of baseball. We spoke with Gregorio Steele who gave us more details. 
we teaching them the, the fundamental of sport, baseball. We teaching them, well, first of all, the, we're trying to, to bring back the baseball in the island. It is important that the baseball of the islands resume its level as previous times, when they had great players like William Cabeza, Sebastian Steele, Jaime Rodriguez, Carl Halford, Orlando Manuel, and many more. Definitely the help should come from the government, because first of all, we have something like approximately 200 children training. We're training in the morning and in the evening because the, the children's that the group is too big. And you know what is to take care of like 150 to 200 children two times of the day without a salary, without no. You do it because true of love. Since the passage of Hurricane Iota, yesterday was the first operation of the Childhood, Adolescents and Family Strengthening Roundtable, which seeks to coordinate different efforts in, in favor of children and young people. Yesterday, the roundtable of childhood, adolescence, and family strengthening, MIAF, took place in the municipality. The meeting had the participation of representatives of World Vision, Aldeas Infantiles, Sacudete al Parque, among others. Our meeting today was about the operation of the Childhood, Adolescence, and Family Strengthening Commission, where we discussed all the issues that have to do with the violence of the rights of children and adolescents, mainly the whole issue of sexual rights, abuse, domestic violence, and many other issues that have to do with the violation of rights. Some of the important topics that were discussed during the meeting were as follow. The issue of rotation or alternation in education, which is one of the issues that is greatly affecting children and adolescents. There is the issue of sexual health that is linked with the migration of workers to the island of Old Providence. There is the housing issue and the issue of children and adolescents' health. The MIAF has been executing an action plan since 2020 and now they will seek to coordinate the efforts of different institutions and organizations in favor of youth and children in Old Providence. What we are looking for is to join this action plan with the action plans of other agencies so that the work that is done is not a tiring job but that World Vision and Aldeas Infantiles will be working along with the Institute's program. The National System of Family Welfare also has other instances such as Social Policy Council, the Participation Table and the Population Tables. And this afternoon, a group of young students organized a march in support of the protest actions that are taking place in the interior of the country and also to express their dissatisfaction with the way the reconstruction process is going. Yesterday, the roundtable of childhood, adolescence, and family strengthening, MIAF, took place in the municipality. The meeting had the participation of representatives of World Vision, Aldeas Infantiles, Sacudete al Parque, among others. Our meeting today was about the operation of the... With all Providence flags and banners with messages about the reconstruction and resistance due to the situation the country is going through, a peaceful march was held from the police headquarters to the Fisherman Co-op in Old Town. The demonstration was called by young students who reject the tax reform and the death of activists on the mainland of the country, as well as showing their indignation at how the reconstruction has been handled. The main reason why we do it is because we do support the Paro Nacional and we not feel comfortable with everything we're going on with the reconstruction and the construction of our Providence. So we come out and we decide that we want rain to revise and say no more and scream what we don't want to happen and when hope things them change. Why you know the why you Because we want we rise, it's 172 days of waiting and we, is, we want our answer today and we exit here the answer for Susana Correa. Let's go back. Los 100 días falsos que prometieron el gobierno que mantuvieron todas las casas en proyecto y aún no han terminado. ¿Sí me entiendes? Y todavía hay mucha gente trabajándose en la calle. Ya, pero definitivamente estoy, estoy marchando por el pueblo que está matando gente en, en la ciudad, en Barranquilla, en Cali, en Medellín.
but I'm especially marching for the people they are killing in the city of Barranquilla, Cali and Medellin. The aim of these demonstrators is to let everyone know what is taking place in Old Providence and that the young people will not remain silent. Let them come, come out, no worry, we are here and we promise that we will raise the advice to everybody here. With. I want people to know what happened in Providence and I want to unite with the people in Colombia because it's not just them that suffer, all of them suffer. Maybe in a different ways right now because obviously they're not killed. But soonly, with the act then what they do, they get dead too. The demonstration continued to the Fisherman Cooperative where a concert of typical music was performed by local artists.